What happens in the combination reaction between iron and sulfur? Well, let's find out ourselves what happens when you burn iron and sulfur. So firstly, we all know that iron is a magnetic metal, and therefore we can put a bar magnet inside the mixture, and the iron will stick to the bar magnet. However, the sulfur should all remain in the tube because it is not magnetic. So currently I've got this test tube with the iron and sulfur mixture. I'm about to burn it in a hot blue flame. However, sulfur gas will be produced so it's safer to do so in a fume cupboard. So we will stop heating once a yellow glow is seen. This actually might take quite a long time. This sort of reaction is a combination reaction and the iron and the sulfur combine to f form iron sulfide. Now the reason why we did the bar magnet test before is to find out whether iron and sulfur were magnetic. We found out that iron by itself is magnetic, but sulfur is not magnetic. So currently, we're going to heat this and test out iron sulfide to see if that compound is magnetic. So uh, as you can see, a yellow gas is being produced and that is sulfur. That should be sufficient. However, we need to break the boiling tube open. So, after smashing open the boiling tube, I've obtained a piece of iron sulfide. Now, let's do the magnet test. So, iron sulfide is not meant to be magnetic, but the reason why this piece clings to the bar magnet is because there's still pure iron that has not reacted yet. Therefore, this is actually a mixture of iron sulfide and iron. The word equation for this reaction as iron reacts with sulfur to yield iron sulfide. The balance symbol equation informs us that one mole of iron will react with one mole of sulfur to yield one mole of iron sulfide.